I feel like a lot of comedians in our time don't do that, though. In our generation, they come on social media and they want to get paid off the rip. They don't know. Yeah. They don't know what stand-up is. Yeah, they social ain't media homework. really distracting them, though. So, like, you have yeah. to keep in mind, a lot of motherfuckers just be on there so much. It's like, now you're trying. Now you overthinking you're shit. You're a character. You yeah. became a character. Right. Yeah. Your followers are you're saying, trying, You're we trying like to chase what somebody that. else mm -hmm. did. You saw somebody you else that. doing mm -hmm. something. Instead of and now you're trying to me, duplicate nigga. that. You like what I give. Mm -hmm. you like, tell me what that's do. not the shit that's going to work. This is what it is. Mm -hmm. But watch me grow, though. Mm -hmm. Right. And now that I know that y'all are watching, y'all going to learn with me. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? It's just like the nigga who, it's like the president. The president is the spokesperson, but he got to go talk to the Congress. That's where the real shit happens at, mm -hmm. when he talking to the Congress. And I feel like a lot of people don't have the same confidence they got when they phone in their hand versus when they on stage. A lot of these motherfuckers funny but got anxiety and all type of shit where you can't get in front of hella people. Like how he said right. social media said everybody funny. Not everybody do got a sense of humor. Yeah. Everybody, you know, it's a nigga on the front porch that's funnier than a bitch, but he can't do stand-up. And I'm not saying that. That stage that is different. That stage is that different. Stage it's is it's different. It's theater. It's acting. You on that stage, mm -hmm. you have to be funny in real time. You got to be funny right now, and you got to make this shit real to these people in this room. You don't you know. You don't have the luxury of pausing this bitch. Thinking about what you finna say, you ain't got the luxury of editing this bitch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You done edited a two minute video of you talking for 10 minutes and this comedy shit, you gotta talk for 30 plus. Hell at yeah. least before you even start talking about really working in this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This shit hard as fuck. Man, we ain't, hold up, That's wait crazy. a minute. Y'all saying too much real shit without me saying, welcome back Thanks. to the 85. Wait a fucking minute. Oh, oh. That was all extra. We at the, we still at the top of the show. I ain't told y'all. I ain't told y'all who in here today. Talk your talk then, nigga. Come on, man. The heck, Come man. On. Play me some pimping, man. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thinking that shit is yeah. a game, bro. It's 2000 and 23. Man, put your pen and pad up, nigga. Yeah, ain't no rapper, nigga. 2000. It's 2000 and 23, Fuck nigga. Mind, nigga. We only doing great shit. This year, we exactly. only bringing cold motherfuckers who cold at what they do. No cap. We still on our ghetto legend shit. No cap. And we Let's had go. to get this nigga in here because he wanted a motherfucking cold. Well, we had to go though, low. Man, come on, man. Come on. man, we had to go. Come on, come on. We, had we to in Georgia, home. right? We in Georgia, nigga. We had to go over Alabama. God damn it. Over Mississippi. God yeah, damn. Over Louisiana, That's Texas. Flight. That's a long flight, man. Over New Mexico, over Arizona. Well, when we go up. Huh? We, we, go ahead. We went through. We went, man, we had to go all the way over there. All the way over where? To the motherfucking yay. Yeah. The yay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Man, Nigga think we ain't watch. Come on, man. First it, first it. Hold up, before, I ain't, oh, ain't finished oh, yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He still got more stuff. Oh, more intro, bro. Oh, more intro. This nigga spit some of the coldest bars. What fuck you talking about? Man, I'm just let that sit for a minute. Uh huh. Frozen. I feel like we got one of the next up and coming greats in here with us today, man. Yo, talk. None other than who? That nigga Simba. Hold bro. up. I didn't mean to give you too much intro. I didn't know you was ready to jump off in there, bro. I just wanted to let him know. Bro, when we work, when we around each other, like you talking about the comedian shit and like backstage and whatever, and you're getting ready for the show, bro, it's like that type of shit we pull up. Mm. Nigga, have you seen this? Mm. You like. Bro, that shit is just, that's the type of shit that like, it, it moves us. And yeah. even if, as, uh, like, even as us as comedians and entertainers, bro, it's like, seeing somebody hone in on the craft like that, that shit is inspiring. She beautiful. Nah. And I ain't just saying that because you're my partner, I'm letting nah, you know that's real. Nah, it's, she it's the same thing with here, bro. It's like, I remember, bro, y'all motherfuckers starting from the bottom. Word. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta remember, this is my little brother right here. So, 2015, 2016, I'm in L.A., he coming down to L.A., he showing me shit. He putting me on to certain things, and I'm just like, damn, I'm seeing your page. You know what I'm saying? He put me on to your page. He put me on to your page. He like, this where, this where shit going. Right. You know what I mean? This where, this where life going, and it's just like, for us to all be here just in, in, in one Moment that yes, shit, that shit feels special, bro. You know me and you didn't link up in studios to where we didn't talk about music. Me and you see each other all the time. Exactly. This is our first time. Yeah, up, this is my first you know time meeting you. But, but it's yeah. just like it's a blessing to be here because it's like it's some black shit. You know Extra what I mean? Black. This, oh, this, this, <laughs> this, what, this what being black is all about right here. Yes, you know sir. what I mean? So. 
I'm just, I'm just happy to be here. Bro. Hey, my I boy. Like how you hey, man. Hey, man. Right. Don't try to flip your intro and show us love. Yeah. You still get your flowers. You still get your flowers. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Shit get tough because it's like you want to involve everybody. Like if I ask you what my dream looked like 10 years ago, it ain't look like this. You know, I imagined all my homies over there. And you know what I mean? A bunch of people I grew up with right there and we jumping in cars and certain things, but it didn't pan out that way. And um, as I you can- I swear I was gonna be the Mero Boys. Me and my niggas was gonna be the Mero Boys. See, that's yeah. everything that's I had, had, we was gonna That's some shit you learn once yeah. you get in this shit. All right. It's you bad had if you want to do, do that shit. Nah, that's what I thought I was You doing. can't take all your friends to work. This work. Yeah. But one thing I we be forgetting that it's work. Everybody don't, everybody everybody don't, don't come to work to you work. You can't take everybody to work. Nigga, this work. But one thing yeah. I realized. Everybody don't want to work. Because I'm a firm believer and I read the, the Bible. You dig what I'm saying? You can't take everybody with you, mm -hmm. which will hurt. But you can't give up on them. That don't mean that you going to... I'm going to be around and help you all the time. Definitely. But when I just know it's going to be a possibility that For I sure. may come back mm -hmm. around, That's but it's fact. not going to be as fast as you think. For you got to know this. You got to know this part, hungry. too. For sure. You ain't hungry yet. For sure. You only can help motherfuckers who really starve me yeah. for real. Yeah. And knowing that they, they know their purpose. For sure. Because yeah. people be just fumbling opportunities and... Yeah. You'll be backtracking trying to help a motherfucker that just don't understand this is an opportunity. I'm starting to, you got to keep in mind, too, though. It's just rare that people get to certain places and actually want to share that type of Thanks. shit with anybody. Mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of people in the industry is very selfish. Right, right. But without that selfishness, you take that out of them, they not the same people. Mm -hmm. like you, sometimes the shit that make people bad people is the shit that make them that great artists. That got them there. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. And that's the, that's the crazy part that I'm starting to understand. It's just like, like bro was saying, it's like everybody ain't meant for everything. Exactly. It ain't so, selfish, it's self-care. Yeah. Because you so tend to think about others more than you start thinking about yourself. Exactly. So that's why I say, that don't mean that I'm going to give up on you. The time that I was thinking about you, I'm going to think for myself. Yeah. And you can't say I'm acting different. No, nigga. I, that little hour and a half that I was trying to figure some shit out for you. Yeah. It gonna cut maybe to 10 or 15 minutes. Exactly. Cause I got other shit, I got to, other do. shit to do. And I got other people who's appreciative, Facts. who's around me, Facts. who could be using that little extra time. Facts. No cap. Facts. No cap. That's the, that's the hardest part, bro, that I'm that I'm starting to learn, just like coming into this thing, you know. Me and Lou, we come from the Bay. Right. You know what I mean? We have um, mentors, right, and people to tell us. This is how you do it. This is how you get it right. right. I remember, like, Lou just posted some shit the other day where he was like, um, he was at the house party uh, premiere. Shout out to my nigga. My well, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to shit. Yeah. Shout out to him. Yeah. 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 That's my nigga, man, for real. <laughs> well, I think you appreciate y'all, man. But nah, it was um, I was I was um, watching the preview and watching the post he had put up, right? And he had put this slide around, and he was like, "Man, I've been in LA for these past few years working." And the second slide, he was in. Um, the garage where I used to stay at, right? And I remember mm -hmm. when he first used to yeah. come out there and I forgot about that whole spot, yeah. right? So it made me think about shit that I wasn't even like remembering. Right, right, You know right, what I right. mean? To where like his post made me think about shit to where it was like, damn, I ain't even appreciate my process. Yeah. Nigga done came so far, we done done so much. We used to ride around the hills just like wishing like, we could do this, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like he in movies, I'm writing for movies, like we're mm, doing certain I things. Did. So it's just a blessing, bro. And the more blessings you receive, you start to realize like you hear it for a reason. You know yeah. I mean? yeah. And then yeah. nigga be around so much shit too, you don't realize how far you came because you around so much shit that on a high level, that niggas didn't grow up not even used to. You around motherfuckers who have limited themselves already. Yeah. That's it. 
Our environment really ain't bad because we still be going. Yeah. Shit, I pull up, let niggas know. <laughs> nigga, motivation, nigga. Yeah. This is him, man. Woo, woo, woo. Nigga, I'm going to give you the game. I don't know how to cook dope, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to tell you how to yeah. cook the other, the, yeah. the marketing dope. Yeah. I'm going to tell you everything I know, bro, because they don't want you to know. I'm going to tell you, you that, it's a, that it's a possible, it's possibility. You stay prayed up, keep God first. You can do it. Nigga, I'm from this same street. I walk these same street. Yeah, everything yeah. you saying is pretty much what basically I was getting to. It's like, like, when motherfuckers understand what the goal is, right. we as each other can help each other get to where we need to be to be able to execute this right. shit at a high level. Right. So it's like we came to L.A. with no understanding of what's going on. Right. But together, <laughs> through us communicating, right. we figure some shit out. You see, that's right. what I say it's all the time. Yeah. That, that communication, that's the shit. fucking key that's missing in the black community, bro. Yeah. Ain't no way that we should still be having niggas come in the game and sign fucked up record deals. It should be a nigga. Mm -hmm. it should Tell them about the show, man. Oh, shit, my bad. I don't even know where we're going. Hey, April 30th, we will be in Denver, Colorado. Oh! Theater. Please. Right. Three-headed monster tour. Hey, you yeah. nod, did I say it right? Yeah. You're in Denver, yeah. Hey, bro, what y'all put behind us on this green screen? They got to get to me. I ain't smoke nothing what yet. What y'all put behind us on the green screen? That's three head monster. Three head monster. Put your bitch behind me. <laughs> put your bitch you know, behind me. Three head monster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Denver, April 30th. We got a big storm coming from the left, and we're going to bring it down. It's called a three headed monster tour, and they're going to come in, and they're going to sweep the whole city. Right. Right. That's the left. That's the west. Put your bitch behind me. Uh, what that one? Yeah. Uh -huh. They don't go theater. Look no, how We back. Yep. You did Yeah. I really got a three head mom. Ooh. You gotta go to the hospital. I, I, I did. It's your girl Lex P and I have a very special announcement. Well, I already announced it, but I'm gonna let y'all know again. We are going on tour. It's starting in June, y'all. Look, we announcing it extra early so y'all got time to get your tickets. No excuses. We got LA, Philly, Chicago, Atlanta, Houston. Now, listen to me, because I know how y'all get. We are still adding dates. I repeat, we are still adding dates, but if you see your city right now, go ahead and get your tickets. If you don't see your city, don't worry, we still coming, okay? So make sure y'all go to www.poorminds.com and get y'all VIP meet and greets. We all fly, poo. Okay, but wait, I'm saying, hold on, let me finish, let me finish. I can't let see him finish. tell a I'm saying, not just record deal, bad shot. deals, period. Somebody might reason up. <laughs> wait a minute. It's about to get I'm real. saying bad business, period. It okay. should be, it's, we have people who are already successful in the fields that we want to be successful in. Just think if we could exchange this information. But before, the standard Hold up, up, let me finish. Right. So it's like, we should have had motherfuckers in place who could have told us, hey, these are the people who steal money. These are the people who help us make money. Like, right. the lines of communication to success is what fuck, that's what, that's the, the what got but the this game the, fucked this up. The part, this the part is black people we don't understand, right? I say this shit all the time. America is only about 240, seven years old. Yep. Right? Some shit like so that. So America is relatively new, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And America is a system that was built off the backs mm -hmm. of motherfuckers like us. Mm -hmm. So we wasn't supposed to figure it out this fast. Mm -hmm. Well, we figured it out, but, but they we figured they, it out. We figured it out in, in 10 you know years. What That's what Brother Rizla said. But, but the, part, the part we didn't get yet mm -hmm. is like communicating with us. Yes. Like understanding us as they a They relegated home. that. Exactly. They relegated and, and that. They said, you know, we got to change their mindset. Yeah. And the it's infrastructure is the reason why. <laughs> yeah. No, they took the infrastructure. <laughs> They, they knew we had he, infrastructure. Right, though, no, they were we catch up on this shit. We, we change their mind and make the them focus on something. Up. The minute we Ooh. catch up. The minute okay. we catch up is game over. But you got it, like you said, this shit ain't that old. And then we 
we're a couple hundred years behind any right. goddamn way yeah. for the shit but that then, happened that don't act like they ain't happened. Then the thing I tell people, I say, now listen, we are in a systematic situation that's built off the Constitution in 1756 when niggas were slaves. Yes, sir. Yep. So this Constitution that we live by is a slave mentality Constitution Facts. anyway. Facts. But we have more freedom. So niggas have to stop thinking that that their mental is still in slavery exactly. because, like you said, in the hood, there's only three three jobs a nigga gonna to, do. I hate to be the rapper right now. Do it. You got to. But you hear the word you just said? What? What? Freedom. Freedom. Come on. Come on. Pop this, your shit. What does that mean? Free freedom shit. means you, you having the, the, the freedom. Not, I don't want to use the yeah, word. You, you have the leverage. <laughs> you have the leverage freedom. The and, the, and the ability the opportunity. to achieve whatever you want to attain. Freedom means it's free to be dumb. Yeah, it is. There you go. See? Nine That's out of ten like. niggas agree on that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, free to, it's free to be dumb. The OG oh, yeah. said it best, nigga. The word is freedom. If you want something for free, you must be dumb. Eddie Griffin. But who the fuck? Damn, but who, who's, gonna, who's gonna live by that to, to, to really end up being dumb? Cause you'll be a finesse so bad and you'll be dumb for real, nigga. Now that's basically all, saying all that nothing. What's dumb? But see, you all, know what's going on. All of us. That's what I'm saying. Dumb you, is opinionated. No, it ain't. It ain't opinionated. It's a. It's what you could prove. Yep. So it's dumb for me to go shoot a nigga and rap about it. Right. It's dumb for, let's say you go kill a nigga tomorrow and tell a joke about it. Mm -hmm. Like, shit is, why? What? So I'm saying, if you. But what I'm saying is, don't limit your mind thinking that, nope. you're, that you're still in a slave mentality. No, definitely. I feel you. Because that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You got the Because that's what's holding us back, the because mentality, not this. I'm going to tell, tell you why niggas don't read. The motivation of knowing that we have came a certain era. Like, think about when Martin Luther King, when niggas getting sprayed with water hose, which still happens today. Yeah. We just Which it. still happens today. For sure. But we talking about a moment in time when you was black. And when you leave your front door, you don't know if you making it home for real, for real. Mm -hmm. Now, we worry about niggas and shit. We stun them niggas. But we talk about a nigga that can spin on you, and if you do something, you liable to get killed. You know if a nigga spin on you, nigga, you tossing his ass upside down, knowing that, don't play with me, I'll catch a battery charge, bitch, I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it was a certain time where it was like, motherfuckers hated our skin, our That's texture, That's because they turned, it to, they turned that shit up so much. It, ain't, it, didn't, it wasn't just limited to them. <clears throat> Whatever the fuck fueled them to make them hate niggas right. as much as they did, right. they found a way to make niggas do it too. I know. The common enemy was that shit. Right. You didn't have to worry about if your next door neighbor was coming in your house because y'all had the same shit. Facts. Mm -hmm. Not even enough shit for the house to the point where y'all eat dinner with this family across the street. And, Nigga, y'all bring the chicken. We got to this. Right. Yeah. When right. we had, we didn't have right. no fucking choice. Mm -hmm. Money kind of fucked the community up. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just the money, it was the drugs. Mm -hmm. Like crack decimated. Yeah. What Facts. little progress was made when you could talk about Martin Luther King. Nigga, we living in a real life civil rights movement right now. Facts. You could turn the TV on and see some shit that happened to a nigga today that's gruesome. Right? And they're gonna show you his name. They're gonna show you, they're gonna tell you everything about the victim. In HD. Think of how they load, they look at how they work, say this shit now. They don't tell you the police killed somebody. It was an officer involved shooting. Yeah. yeah. For what? Killing the thug. But they're just saying it's like, this shit just ain't. It's happening. It's, wait, 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 wait. Nah, it's this shit, shit is for a reason. Right. Facts. When they show you this shit, right, mm -hmm. they know what audience they're feeding. Facts. They're letting their people know, hey, we ain't stopped. Facts. Yeah. Right. Facts. Yeah. You talk about what you would have did in the civil rights movement. Yeah. Right. Nigga, nigga, you do something now. Do something right. now. You got everything that them niggas wish they had. Yeah. Oh, we we get the fuck out the South if we had a few dollars. We ain't got no, we got to stay. Right. You got all the money in the world and look at the shit you spend it on. Shit right. happening to everybody. But like you said, the sharing the mentality. Trying to share that mentality yeah. fucked up. Exactly. Yeah. We got more freedom That's to be right. like, we well, know this. I know that shit's still going The old people, can't keep fighting. The old people tired. The old people tired. They That's come why they gave up. <clears throat> they That's tired. They tired. They trying to reach the young niggas because they not poisoned with the same shit yeah. that the next generation is poisoned with. Right. You don't know why you respond to certain shit like that. Right. You don't know why niggas 
feel that they got to, you don't know what make, a nigga can be perfectly normal like we have in this conversation right now. Facts. And snap. Right. Facts. And do some shit that, not my nigga. Facts. Right. But it's a lot of weak minded motherfuckers. But I'm now. saying, what, I'm saying. Ooh, what the fuck yeah. is making the mind weak though? The, the, the social the phone. Media, the, but wait a minute, the it phone. Ain't, it ain't just the phone, bro, it's conditioning. Yes. Yeah. It's conditioning. Yeah. It's like, like we, you say, no, no mentor. Yeah, it's like we conditioned. Mm. They ain't heard no it. real story. Like, if a nigga who think he going through something, you ain't never really heard a nigga going through something and then look at you and be like, nigga, I'm still walking. Facts. God save me. Facts. Niggas got to hear that shit. Because that little bullshit you think you going through, you like, don't mean that shit don't mean nothing. You got niggas feel it, too. Nah, I'm going to tell you some real shit. Because niggas hear all type of shit, bro, but I'm they ain't feel it, too. I'm going to tell you some real shit, right? Yeah. A Go nigga, he <laughs> nigga was saying some shit. I swear to you, nigga, I was talking, I was talking to somebody the other day, right? And they was talking about, like, I fucked <coughs> up they years, right? I'm broke, I'm this, I'm that, woo, 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 right? And I was just thinking, like, damn, like, imagine what it's like to be blind. Oh, mamas. You know what I'm saying? Like, imagine what it's like to not be able to just operate. Right. You know what I mean? Or not be able to see certain things or touch certain things or right. feel certain yeah. things. You know what I mean? But it's like, we be so worried about some money, we overlook certain shit that we got in life that enhances what we can have help us. Right. Overlooking you know I mean? the blessings. So it's like, all of us in here, like, we got hands, eyes, feet, boom, you know, able body. But you know back we then, able to do shit. They people got had two preparation. Legs. They, 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 they prepared to this shit. They knew, OK, well, we going to do something. <coughs> we doing it for this reason and this reason and this reason. Just like you said, a lot of niggas want money and don't even know what they want to do with the money. But think about I the shit. I done seen niggas with 20, 30,000. Think about the shit that they did. I'm like, nigga, you The pandemic. Nigga, you don't know it. Hey, you yeah. blew it. Yeah. Everybody was rich. Yeah. They couldn't do I shit with money. This nigga yeah. still was broke. They yeah. couldn't do nigga shit with money. Nigga went straight to the Gucci yeah. store, went straight to the goddamn Louis shit. Because you know what? Shit. It's an image. It's a perception to, the to say, I'm doing <laughs> something. <laughs> they went to the cookie when back store. then, oh, motherfuckers nigga. had pride. Hey. They had really, I want to be somebody. My brother Rizzler said, hey, man, when we got out of that situation, man, the infrastructure of the build-up from the blacks was coming up, it took us 10 years, nigga. Now, like you said, go back to my point again, when a motherfucker can come destroy the building, come burn the building because yeah. they don't like some shit. Let me tell you what I'm gonna do to a nigga if a nigga throw a bar over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. We ain't living in them days when we are because it's systematic. Yeah. It's systematic, but we got the freedom to be saying, we're gonna break the rules anyway. Exactly. The exactly. rules are already broken, you black. Exactly. They, there are no rules exactly. until they tell you. That's the exactly. problem, yeah. Exactly. Well, that's the, the rules are straight. applied differently. It's the rules, but Thank where you. they enforced. Exactly. Where they applied, where you applying the pressure. Now like, you get it. How we all the crack motherfuckers that go to jail and what, we 13% of the population, right. something crazy? And they they high percent of doing this weak. shit, but they don't enforce it in their motherfucking community. But check right. this out, I just thought of this shit. This might be the way. Mm -hmm. Nigga, if it's cocaine on all the money, right? Everybody know that. It's yeah, cocaine like, yeah. on most of the money. Right. Nigga, what the fuck on us? We could all be crack babies for all the fuck we know. That's why I like it so much. I be like, yeah. <laughs> Every time I about to count the money, I'm like, don't do that, dog. Don't do that. Do not. You're going to get Bruh, sick. I don't again. give a fuck. I like to count the money. Uh, uh, no. What? Nigga, my thought is. That's why we was down. Man. We, we were down about two Christmas. Like uh, count the money. I don't know about two that. Christmas ago. Nigga, cocaine. Thank you, bro. And nigga, dumb and do the check. Yeah. Yeah. Put that on your hands. Give me some. Y'all gonna shut down because of this nigga right here. Come on, man. This nigga do the most. This a bitch. This nigga leave his hands and made me sanitize mine. But the days of physical comedy is dead. Social distancing killed physical comedy. Let's talk about that, though. What? Because as a rapper, I'm a real comedy fan. Okay. And the reason I am a comedy fan is because as a way that I write my raps, I relate to a lot of ways that comedians write their jokes. Mm -hmm. right? so Which is? Certain patience, uh -huh. timing, um, punchlines, uh -huh. like all type of things, right? Uh -huh. But as comedians that do this shit as a high level, how do you guys feel at the moment of the um, market being so like saturated. Yeah, it's great. It's good. 
He like it, cause he, like it, it. it show why, the motherfucker why? that can't do mm-hmm. it and can do it. He's, he, mm-hmm. he say that shit all the time. Mm-hmm. He gonna let you know, listen, the motherfucker that can't do it gonna die out. Yeah. That's one thing you realize. It don't matter if a motherfucker do it. If you great, you great. Right. If you don't do this shit, it's gone. Show. The cartel don't care about competition. She gonna die. Mm. Cause they know their product mm-hmm. is more pure. You see what it's I'm saying? It's more raw. Yeah. It's gonna sell. It's blue magic. It's gonna sell. You ain't got to do nothing to it. The- All right. May 20th. Where we going? Louisville, Kentucky. Man, to the hoop. The KFC Yum Center. We ain't got no KFC yet. But it's gonna be at the Yum Center. Is it, is it- Louisville or Louisville? It's L- Louisville. Louisville. Yeah, definitely Louisville. 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 Yeah, no cap. It's Louisville. 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 Nah, I need, I need KFC to bring us it's, some chicken, bro. Is that close to the uh, Kentucky Derby? It's in Kentucky. I mean, but is it close? The day that we gonna be there. Hey man, fuck all that. Bring me some bluegrass. For real. Is Bubba Johnson gonna be there? Bubba Johnson? Yeah. That nigga. Bubba Johnson ride horses. He the NASCAR. Can Kentucky? I thought that was a car. No, nigga, that's. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, come to the show. Come to the show a little bit. Bring a horse. Ignore what you said. Yeah. Ah! You tough. Yeah, baby. That's NASCAR. Yeah. I thought the Kentucky Derby was a car. No, that's. Ah! <laughs> That's the Daytona 500, nigga. Nigga, nigga. Derby. Ain't nobody told me. That's why I won't take you no fucking way. Hey, man. Get, what? get your tickets. May 20th, KFC Yum Center. Shit, take me to the horses then, <laughs> nigga. She <laughs> got that yum. Yeah, she got that yum. I always thought I could take a derby with a horse, I mean, with a car. Javante fighting this week. Him and, uh, who, who, who he fighting that? Ryan Garcia. Man, a lot of people are trying to make this closer than what it is. Javante Tank Davis is going to beat the hell out of that man. Moving right along. Anthony Edwards. He going to have a bounce back game. I love the fact that Anthony Edwards from Atlanta. He got real people in Atlanta. They done called the boy. Man, what the hell you doing? I know you ain't going out like that. He finna drop 35. That's my prize pick of the week. Sports is competitive, especially at the high, when you play it at the highest level like that, you're gonna get some chirp, you know, some, some chirping. Thanks. Because, you know, part of the game is mental. Mm-hmm. So if, if, if a person can get in your head mentally by talking to you, they're gonna talk to you. So I say like. Columbus, Ohio. Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. Uh-huh. In Palestine. C- Columbus. It's Columbus. Yeah. Pa- the, what was it? The yeah. Popeye's Theater? Uh, oh, Palace. I thought it was the Palace Theater and the Popeye's Theater. We going to the <laughs> Palace Theater. Yep. May 21st. Columbus, Not planned. Ohio. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Yeah. Bow Wow yeah. gonna be there. Yeah. And yeah. we going to shopping at Eastland Mall. No I'm cap. I'm, I'm going. A little Bow Wow. You just don't know. Me when you move so fast. Hey, I got the flow. I'm gonna make up to my mind. Hey, 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 May 21st, no Columbus, cap. Ohio, Palace Theater. You remember that nigga, you remember that nigga did this shit in the, in the camera? You my deal, you know what I mean? Yeah, all the way, get the ticket. Game is the game. The market can do whatever the fuck it does, yes. but if you got a superior product, right. And I'm spiritually guided. You weather so, any storm. Yes. Mm, really chipping on the humanized form of how they do things. Yes. Because social media really is a marketing tool. Yeah, yeah. I'm spiritually it's a, gifted it's too. Marketing. Yeah. Because it's whatever I know. you market. I know. That's how you market yourself. If you market bullshit, that's people what you gonna, gonna get. That's just like them infomercials. Man, I want that shit. This your mm. first time seeing it. But the moment that shit come in and you realize it's some bullshit, you're gonna see them commercials start to die down. Yep. I'm spiritual yeah. too. Because I know you gotta have both. You gotta have it. both. They sell candy in the front. I feel the but same way. But they sell steak music. in the back. I feel the same way about music. Like, we go through the same thing with music. Uh, it's like we put so much just care I'm eat it. into we, the music. We do it one more. Yeah, like, just to it. make sure it's like something there for when people get tired of the tree. Yes. You know what I mean? So we always creating something that's there for when it's like people is tired of the radio record, they tired right. of certain things, it's something there that they want to digest. So See, how that's what it is, the comparison. You got to know that you're shooting at two different whole markets. Right. You got to, and it's, it's an equal market. 
Like, don't worry about that side. That's why I feel about what you asked. That's my response to it. It's like, can't worry about who doing what, who knew or who got a hit. Because this is just like the rap game. A yeah, nigga can yeah. come up and be a hit. Niggas have a hot year. Yeah. I have a hot year. Hot year. Yeah. Yeah. Never yeah. hit the stage. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what happened to Buddy? Yeah. Nigga, they do it every the end of the year. It be the end of the year and you don't remember the nigga who had you laughing the whole month of January. Right. The show. Right. The year is long, One man. skit wonders, nigga. <laughs> one uh, skit wonders. Yeah. Hilarious. Yeah. One, one skit wonders. One skit wonders. I ain't never heard that. You Same was a shit. wonder skit. One skit wonders. <laughs> That's hilarious. But that don't mean that them niggas ain't valuable to the game either. Yeah. Talk yep. now. The, so it's like, I said this before. How we gonna compare the niggas who do skits mm -hmm. to the niggas who do stand up? Mm -hmm. It's fine if you a nigga who wanna do the skits, yes. and it's fine if you wanna do stand up. But nigga, know what you good at. Right. The same way it took you time to get good at your skits, it's gonna take you that. That's In nice. real life, yeah. comedy don't give a fuck if you don't come to the club. Right. That's yeah. one night more that you gotta go. Yeah. If you go to the club once and you rip that bitch and you don't come back for six months, guess what? In six months, them not the same people who loved you. Right. Yeah. Go you got to start yeah. all over, nigga. Your fire got wet. Right. right. Facts. And you yeah. still, you been trying to relight that wet ass fire. Right. Mm -hmm. No, they don't give a fuck. We done seen niggas who be the legends in the city mm -hmm. can go to any spot and show up and get a standing ovation. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Mm -hmm. They can't leave inside 285. Yeah. This ain't me hating. These are facts. Facts, yeah. facts, nigga. We, I done been invited on the road with niggas who are funny in Atlanta. These people in Chicago don't know what the fuck you saying. Facts. They might when you performing in the right shit, but nigga, we at the fucking, this the look comedy club. <clears throat> These people really come here every week and they gonna tell you who was funny and who they don't fuck with and why, and they gonna say, I hate that joke. The, the nigga did, they gonna tell you. Mm -hmm. we, when you walk in the club and they see them little people who catch you at the bathroom, DC, <laughs> your boy was up here, he wasn't shit. No, oh, yeah. you funny. Uh -huh. We ain't finna keep coming up here fucking with y'all, y'all yeah. niggas ain't funny for real. Yeah, we. Especially the people that this work there. Real, real. Bruh. The people that work there really let you know. You gotta continue, mm -hmm. but see, niggas don't yes. understand. I come from theater, right? So I love wait, wait, the wait, Renaissance. Wait, wait, I didn't know wait, that. Wait, 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 we can't just skip past that. Oh, that shit was about to get theater. good. I come from theater. I didn't know that, fuck. I love that shit. Break that down. I mean, any type of play, any type of theater, I come from that. It wasn't no big scale, like church and school and mm. shit. Bro, nigga, let's do one of them joints. Let's do like a ghetto nigga. Tyler Perry joint. Ghetto Perry. This is when I knew. <laughs> this is when I knew. For the street. Theater Makes was sense. my shit. And this is when I knew to always bet on myself when my back's against the wall. I don't give a fuck what it is. We had to, I was in ninth grade, we had to say two monologues. You know a monologue here, right? Yeah, yeah. Cool. I had to, we had to recite two monologues. I only remember one monologue because I, I couldn't find one that was interesting enough to bring that shit out of me. I'm like, this is bullshit. It's bullshit. So I re re remember one of them. It was cool. So I did the one. I do the one I remember in class. It was cool. Then she was like, all right, John, where's your second one? I don't have a second one, Summer. Mm. I say, in my head, I say, nigga, make some up on this spot. I made some up on nigga when I went, I knew I couldn't get out of it. I started. I just started. And it was really about a black boy who got hit in the head with a rock. <laughs> <laughs> By a white kid. But I took my whole class back in time. Because we so young and fast and shit. Mm. I grew up with old people, nigga. I'm I wanna feel appreciated. Mm. I do the whole monologue, right? And when I couldn't think of nothing else, I just ended, nigga, and just bow. Nigga, my whole class was like this. <laughs> my teacher was like, where can I find that monologue? I'm like, bitch, you can't. I made it up. I've got a 95 on it. The you told her you made it up? No. I just was like, man, I don't know where that monologue is. I was just looking at it. I, I threw the paper away. I got a 95 on that monologue, and the one I remember, I got a 70 on. And that's when I knew, I said, nigga, I don't give a fuck what situation I am. I'm gonna know. get myself up exactly. out of there. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. They gonna believe me. I got that. You gonna believe me, nigga, cause how you gonna hilarious. tell me I'm lying, nigga? And that's the thing. Was it good? That's the thing about it. She was good, nigga. One 
stupid. That's the thing about us. Like, How you gonna tell me I'm lying? That's black people, bro. That's the thing about us is like, we ain't gonna never give up on us. We gonna always put that first foot forward to be like, Whoa. like, like I told a motherfucker the other day, right? I, I was talking to my homie and he probably gonna be mad at me for telling this story, but Tell fuck it. it. Oh, shit. I was talking to my homie, right? And he was like, uh, he was like, I don't be wanting to do certain shit because I don't be wanting to, like, uh, over promise and under deliver, right? And I was like, bro, this motherfucker's like Elon Musk who got people believing like he finna colonize Mars. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Now, whether he do it or not, like he didn't convince people this what I'm doing. Uh -huh. So even if he falls short, he gonna land somewhere where it makes sense. Yeah. Hell yeah. You, you can do the bare minimum, the you, like, Yeah, sometimes... nigga, but you can't say a nigga Mars is settled for the moon, nigga. <laughs> But uh, the nigga really think they can it. You still on the moon. Right, right, right. On the right. Moon. But still niggas still on the moon. Wow, nigga. You ain't really you hitting on the moon. I want my deposit back. You just, just higher than what the plane normally go. It, no. go. it went to the black part. But you still on the moon. Exactly. You that's the how they sell that's it, too. Still on the that's moon. how they go sell it, too. Still on the moon. That could be the original plan anyway. Nigga play, don't believe it. Like, nigga, we got to go to Mars. You think niggas came back from the moon? How many niggas done came back from the moon? I don't know a nigga that came back. No, we can't go to the moon. You heard astronauts. I don't know. They just go out there to see that motherfucker. You know how you like you pull up like, oh, shit, I see it. We ain't gotta go all the way up there, but I see it. <laughs> I'll take a picture and let a nigga know, like, all right, cat. Go. They go to the moon, y'all. You, you think niggas ain't gonna go to the moon? You know how long it takes for a nigga to go to Man, the moon? Man, build some bad bitches on the moon. And one of them rap niggas, biggest rapper, go out there. Niggas you start you going to the moon. You know how long it takes you to go. To that little rocket. Shit. That rocket Kanye is a facade. Kanye had niggas walk around like homeless people. But that's my point. That's an illusion. You, when that shit go up in the air, that bitch be like, nigga, we going to camp, nigga. Somebody gonna go. One of them little white kids gonna go. It's illusion. It's like, it's like, it's niggas ain't convince thinking. people enough to where it's like, we can get up there. Right? You can. You know what I'm saying? Now, really, yeah. we can or we can't. Right. Okay. It ain't that far. Especially what, when it's big. That's what they say. Bro, I just don't get the If concept. you go when it's big, it's like a two-hour drive. That motherfucker huge on Earth. Do you know how far this bitch is? Yeah, that's hella far. This far you can see that motherfucker on Earth like, what? They go to the moon. But what about the Do moon? You know how hopping, though? Yeah, this like, nigga's yeah. up there saying, man, this nigga on the Earth. That think we ain't real. We don't think know, we the moon. We don't know shit about Earth. We Why may be the, the moon. Why the fuck would we go somewhere else? We may be a colorful moon. <laughs> they like, look at the little colorful moon. we get moon. to these places? We don't. <laughs> they were like, shit, so tell us about where you from. You stupid. Oh, well, hey, man, that motherfucker <laughs> nice. <laughs> we may be the computer. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said. Hey, that motherfucker nice. That's it, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, that bitch fun. We playing bait. Oh, y'all don't know about that one. Uh, shit. That's a green screen. And they gonna be sitting there. These, you gotta keep in mind, these are intelligent life forms. We ain't gonna have shit to tell them. Think about this shit, bro. <laughs> like, if you really go to the moon, bro, mm -hmm. right? and you gotta interact with, with the, it, with it, with it, the intelligent up there, motherfuckers. They're like, where y'all from? And we just like. It's a, it's a motherfucker up there with one eye. Like Earth. Got the little booty finger. Man. Like, where in Earth is like. Should I tell them niggas I'm from the bank? <laughs> <laughs> you think they give a fuck? Nigga, I'm from Earth now. I'm from the Earth. Oh, so you yeah, think you're going to hit California? You're out of states. You're in California, nigga. Yeah. 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 Nigga, I'm from the Bay. Nigga, you from the Bay. You're from the colorful moon, nigga. This nigga gonna hit a bullet. You're from the colorful moon. I'm from this motherfucker. I'm from the Bay. I'm from the most important question of them all. Say it again. You think they give a fuck? <laughs> These are intelligent yeah. beings. We are wasting their time. They're like, bro, you mean to tell me y'all spent all this time and energy to, to get tell up me where y'all from? And y'all ain't got shit to talk about. Man. Oh, we was gonna get y'all. I'll be like, welcome to Earth, nigga. That's what we doing down there. You can't talk about shit water. down there. These niggas came up here looking for the How you gonna start water. it off? First off, I'm from the bay. Right. <laughs> and what you think? You gonna hit a button and it's gonna switch to yada da mean. And that means yada da mean. Yada da say it. Oh, no, nigga. He's from Yarabi. That's what I'm saying. You think they give a fuck if they... If they say it's water up there. It's a lot of shit up there. Nigga went to the moon to jump in the pool. See, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm talking you about. Let it go. You think they, they got a pool, but you got to bring your own you know. water. We so fucking dumb, we call the shit water. <laughs> what they call it. If you go up there and ask them for some fucking water, they not going to have it. 
They don't drink water. You like may never know. They you call the shit water. Cool they go. They go call that shit. They too old. No, that ain't even right. They go call that shit. What it really is, and it's gonna fuck you up. You go June 10th. What we're going? Chesapeake Employers Insurance Arena. Man, nigga must have just bought that. That shit sound like a defect building, man. man. Hell yeah, in Baltimore, yeah, and that's, that's in Baltimore, too. Name. That's on the avenue. Insurance? Chesapeake Insurance. What else is it? Arena. 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 Chesapeake Insurance. I left the word out, but. They got they got three bins in one bill. Buy one ticket, <laughs> buy two tickets. Buy how many? Huge. And get some insurance while you're at it, cuz y'all then ain't got no life insurance. Get a few tickets. A few tickets. And we're gonna be selling hot dogs. That's how they say it. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Hot dogs on the avenue. You dig it? Once you buy a few tickets. Uh huh. you gonna get some hot dogs. And some insurance, bitch. And some insurance. Chesapeake Insurance Arena, Baltimore. Yes, June sir. 10th. I can't wait for Baltimore. Hey y'all, so what's up? It's your girl Dre and Nicole. And I have some new products coming out for my cosmetics brand Muse Beauty Collection. That's musebeautycollection.com. And it's also about to be my motherfucking birthday. It's lit. Right now, I have on the Lust Gloss with the Glaze Gloss. And I have on the Chestnut Lip Liner. And I also have some new products coming out for my birthday that I'm super excited about. Look at Lex P. She got that shit on. So, y'all know I am a matte girl. I love it. So, I have on the Chestnut Liner and the Cider Liquid Lipstick, y'all. It's super matte, but it doesn't make you dry. Y'all know we like a little matte look, but not nothing that makes you dry. I love it. So, when y'all see me back to my old school days of the matte girl, y'all already know I'm wearing Muse Beauty Collection. And the lipstick is popping. So, yes... All you have to do is go to www.musebeautycollection.com. That's www.musebeautycollection.com and use the code BIRTHDAY and you will get 30% off. 30% off, one day only, Saturday, my birthday, 422, and use code BIRTHDAY. April 22nd is your birthday, turn up. Get y'all liquid lipsticks. Y'all gonna love it. Period. Hey, okay, you ready? We filming. Hey, nigga. Hey, pop homie. your hey, shit. Nigga, hey, homie. Pop your shit. Nigga. Pop your shit, homie. Oh, homie. Pop, nigga. pop your shit, homie. homie. You know what it is, nigga. Yeah. Weird ass nigga. Yeah. Real player. Real player lipstick. Hold up, my nigga. You yeah. being hella boozy right now. Hold up. Hey, nigga. We pop your shit, that. homie. Hey, nigga. Uh. nigga. Uh. nigga. You already know what it is. Nigga. Throw that shit up. Throw that shit up. Pop your shit. You pop my piece for the wannabes. Pop your shit. I might be there. I might not. Yeah, enough. Show them your cookies you brought with you. Nigga, look at this. Nigga, throw cookies. Nigga, Hey, nigga. Nigga got cookies as a carry on, nigga. Cookies got shake in the bottom. You ain't never had no chocolate chip shake, nigga. What day we going? Mama's, nigga. June 4th. What fuck you talking about? Oakland Arena, nigga. Yeah, nigga. June 4th, three headed monster tour on Cetus. Nigga, on, nigga, hey. nigga on your baby, nigga. nigga. What the fuck you talking about? I ain't Hell never seen your baby. Hell of niggas, nigga. Hell out there. Hell of niggas already got their The bitches nigga. already out there, Hell nigga. Hella bitches. Hella bitches, Hell nigga. nigga. Not few, Hell but a hella. Hella. I ain't never seen hella. Nigga on the town. It's gonna be oh, hella bitch. Oh my mama, nigga. Oh my mama. Oh my mama. Gonna see this, nigga. Hella oh my mama. No cap. Nigga. And two is not hella. Fuck nah, you talking nigga. about, nigga. Get your tickets, nigga. June 4th, nigga. Yeah. Town business. Nigga. Uh, what it is? Three headed monster tour. Eh. Yeah. Show him the cookies. Cookies, nigga. <laughs> oh, mama. Oh, my mama's made these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga. <Yeah. laughs> hey, man, it's Nav Green from Broken Play. If you're not hip to Channel 85 app, I don't know what to tell you, but I got some good news for you. If you're not on it, right now, if you sign up and use the keyword broken play, I don't even know I'm able to do this. We're going to take 20% off your first year. I don't know if I'm able to do this, but if you put in broken play, it's going to do that. So look. Type that in, and then you won't just see Broken Play for like, you know, you're going to get early access to the show. You're going to see the full show, 
but you also get to see 85 South live shows. You get to see Poor Mind live shows. You get to see Jack Thriller show. You get to see everything that the app has to offer. <clears throat> you can download Channel 85 app on any of your streaming services. That includes Apple TV, Roku, Android TV, they on Fire TV, they on Chromecast, they on Xbox, they on anything that got streaming service availability. Check out Channel 85 app. So what you waiting for, man? Type in Broken Play, sign up, get your discount, and rock out with us. Channel 85 app. Be up there fucking dying of thirst, and they gonna be like, "That nigga said the alien up there in the cup." Oh, why didn't you say something? <laughs> Bitch, I said water. He's smarter than us. She taste like ginger ale. Nigga, <laughs> can too far not to try. You gonna try that shit? That's pee pee. Okay. That, Go up there, that, that nigga gonna shit. make you breathe. Your Go water. up there and well, do some earth shit. That's all I'm saying. You they can't gonna look at you so dumb. Nigga, you can't, nigga, you gotta jump in. Like, they gonna be up here ain't doing shit either. So when they look at you and say, so when you gonna eat some carbon, my nigga, and you like, what the fuck? That shit will kill us. You it's can't like, eat oh, nothing oh, if you, you take oh, the helmet oh, off. Oh, oh, you too good. Die. You haven't evolved to the left. Oh, you haven't had no uranium today. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know about protoplasms. <laughs> Some goddamn cyclamonium, my nigga. Get you a little lithium. Get you a little lithium. This motherfucker stink. He hasn't put no nitroglycerin on his body since he got here. Please get this carbon breathing motherfucker out of my face. What you mean, y'all drink so bad out there? Man, just start stinking after being around them for six hours. They listen to music out there? He got an ass. That's gonna fuck the aliens up. He still got an ass. I don't know what this brown shit is he keep doing, but we don't do that. But if you we shit, can't do it, baby. And it gon' float. <laughs> we gon' fall shit. Hey, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you like, yeah, nah, I like oh, that. Oh, that's fucked up. Yeah. Shit, that motherfucker didn't float. Nigga, we got him up here. You gonna beat him? He ain't got a wife. He just shit. That motherfucker didn't float. You gonna rip a hood on Earth? Nigga, just they gonna beat your ass up there. You can't fight a nigga. Nigga, put his hand down and just shit. Why the shit float? This is why we don't pick him up anymore. Them niggas gonna drop you back on Earth, nigga. Immediate. As soon as you get to talking that shit, they gonna. What you got down here though? They gonna piss everybody off. Yeah, you go in there and do some coughing and shit. Watch everybody move to another planet. First time you fart, they gonna shoot the shit at you. It disrespectful. Yeah. He committed it. Treason. Nigga gonna fart. Nigga gonna go out there and get gas. That's gonna be one of their laws. Nigga gonna fart in jail. You got 40,000 years. You gonna be for 40,000 years up there. That's the thing about up there. Once you do it, it's out. It don't go away. It's out. He's fucked up the atmosphere. <laughs> we have to live here. <laughs> the whole species is mad. <laughs> we have to live in this shit, man. The fuck, man? Who brought this nigga? Who brought this nigga from the bay, man? And he fuck keeps him. it. And he keeps it. I got kids here. But I got to raise my kids in this shit. <laughs> man, we moved to Neptune to get away from this shit. That's stupid. That's hilarious, That's hella man. funny. I don't give a fuck. I'm the type of nigga go up there with gas. See? Oh, man. You said, what? They get 40,000 years if you fuck. I'll go up there. Stop it, stop it. Fuck me like a motherfucker. I'm like, man. Go up there and film that shit. I don't think black people ready to go up there. I think we more than ready to go up there. We ain't ready to skydive. That's why they been keeping us from not going up there. That's why they been keeping us from not going up there. If you ready to jump out of the plane, you ain't ready to go to space, nigga. Black That's why they've been keeping us from up there. Black people don't fuck with roaches. What you think they're going to do? It's black people up there already. It's all right. Okay. I'm not saying it's not. That's why they don't want us to go. We fully equipped to be there up there. You think so? So when we get there and we see them, they're going to be like, nigga, it's about time y'all figure that, man. Right, fuck it, that shit. They, they put a force field. We couldn't come get y'all. If black people went to the moon, I think everybody would go to the moon, though. They not. Shit. Nigga, let LeBron go to the moon. You can go up there. They got hookah on the moon? <laughs> Nigga, you thought about it. That's all I'm like, I'm going to go. I got to go see Brock. I got to go see Brock and Jay-Z. I got to go. Let LeBron and Jay-Z go to the moon. Niggas going to be scrolling. Bad bitches. Niggas going. And that's the only way you can download the music. Niggas going to be scrolling. They're like, OK. You know what's crazy? All right. I see the moon shit looking like. I'm going to be like the Rock Nation brunch. You feel me? But everybody ain't going. 
Cause fake rich niggas go to the club and niggas follow them. So imagine mm, if right. it's some real niggas. We gotta niggas see some shit. Make it like it's a ball and shit. Right. Nigga, you having paper if you took a moment. But what if the A's got like a... Niggas running around broke ass niggas on the earth. Broke yeah. ass niggas on the earth. But what if the A's... Broke ass niggas on the earth. They go crazy. That shit'll go and say, look, you ready to go. But what if the A's got like a fat ass? That's what I'm saying. Motherfucker got a fat ass. Okay. Where that pussy? That motherfucker ain't been touched. For real? That motherfucker up there. Why you want me to have this? Why you want me to have this? I need somebody to feel me. He said, where that bitch touched? Come on, give me some. <laughs> so, so you think, you think, you think, you think an alien from a whole nother fucking planet uh-huh. gonna have compatible pussy? pussy. Right. <laughs> this is shit I'm talking about. <laughs> So you, so you think, so you think they got no coochie? Huh? You don't think they got pussy on the moon? Yeah. Not like yeah. we know it. Where does baby aliens come from? That man? shit might be everything on Earth that reproduces got <laughs> coochie. Baby aliens, all of them. They ain't got coochie. Baby aliens. That's optimism right there. Cause it's not like it ain't it's like not pussy. Earth. Pussy you gonna want? It might be like what if it's just like it's got tentacles? What if it's like dolphin <laughs> pussy? That's as close as they can get. They, that's as close. <laughs> I ain't never had dolphin pussy, though. But that's as close as they gon' get. He's like, he had dolphin pussy. That's as close as they can get. Dolphin pussy is the best, though. That's real, though. I wouldn't And that's not even really pussy. You gotta get some pussy That's anal sex. You swim with the dolphin. What if dolphin pussy? You know dolphins are some freaking motherfuckers. I swim with the dolphin. And them motherfuckers gonna hump on your ass, too. Yeah, they ain't hump me. But you crazy. You run that motherfucker around, they be like, you like me? That motherfucker squirting everything from the top. He done did it. Dolphins going Where? crazy, nigga. Where? Ah! 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 The weed then kicked in. I went to Kona. I'm too low. I went to Kona for New Year's in Hawaii. I seen I, that. That shit I was swam, smooth. I swam with the dolphin. You swam with the dolphin? They had, like they were sleeping when we were there. I'm like, how they sleep? No, they be sleeping. <laughs> Yeah, nigga. How you think you sleep, nigga? <laughs> Motherfucker don't sleep. Yeah, they do. <laughs> so you tell me they be floating in the water. Nigga, <laughs> 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 you just sleep. <laughs> They not, they not human. Nigga, the whales stand up. They not human. They like, y'all been going over there, baby. Hey, 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 hey. Animals always do go to sleep when niggas pull up. You go to the zoo, nigga, why is always laying down and shit? They was just cool as fuck. human, bro. For real? You, you thinking of a human. Humans can't breathe underwater. They can. I know, but I'm saying, though, you ain't never seen no fish just go to sleep. I seen a fish yeah. leave. When? No, they keep swimming. You, you know, you tap the motherfucker. I'm a drug. Oh, you want yeah. to be looking at a motherfucker fish that sleep. <laughs> and how you know it's sleep? It look at you like, man, watch out, man. Put your ass on, man. Put your sleep, man. Baby, man. Oh shit! I had a fish. That motherfucker swim and watch me sleep all day. Every How day. you know it watched you sleep? Cause every time I got up, that motherfucker was moving. He might have got up just a little bit before you got up. Every time I look at him, he moving. He's like, all right. I if he ain't moving, he either dead. Good. All right. <laughs> Man, you crazy? I saw what he said. You, you like, think fish don't move? That motherfucker ain't moving, man. <laughs> That nigga crazy. What's wrong with that nigga, man? <laughs> I had plenty of fish in my life. Oh, yeah. They ain't go to sleep. If you should, you think so? I know so. All right. Mm. I know kind of who way. go to sleep. Them alligators go to sleep. Yeah, Every right. right? Man, them bitches. Them alligators at the zoo ain't real. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. <laughs> yeah, them bitches been in the same spot for 22 years. <laughs> now, you know what they told me about was the dolphins? Was it Atlanta? They told me the dolphins, uh, it's a dolphin that been there for 51 years. That dolphin been dead. <laughs> like how they say, they're making you believe. Look at this dolphin. 51 years. Right, you started. I gotta buy did, another but one. Did he look you old? are 30. Who did told you old? that he was here 20 years before you? Now that nigga look old, that nigga scarred up. And oh, missing yeah. teeth and shit. That nigga done been through a couple <laughs> fights. Yeah. Oh, this nigga been here. What <laughs> well, y'all yeah. do know the animals in captivity, they 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 behavior changes because they They ain't supposed to live that I know, long. That's like jail. That's like a yeah. motherfucker saying, look. Like showing a nigga off in jail right now. You ever see niggas in captivity? Look. Right. Yeah, they sick of this you shit. You know who have fun in, in, in them captivity? You know what? Shit is probably like torture to them animals, seeing all these beautiful ass people you can't eat. 
Yeah. 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 And your not, natural instinct is to eat this shit. It's just like food walking by all I day. You like that same way. Yeah. Like imagine them niggas like we just be digging in the water, just picking fish, throwing right. them on the grill. Like right. imagine how they feel just seeing us grabbing their ass. They probably be like, same nigga be telling them like, man, stop swimming at the top, man. <laughs> them niggas, it's some shit. <laughs> them, 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 it's them hands. But they, but they, they like, stop swimming at the top. Hey, that shit a conspiracy to them niggas. Man, ain't no fucking hands. It's some necks. <laughs> it's some ain't no fucking hands. Stop dangling. Stop, uh, stop going to the dangling shit. Bro, when fish, shit, uh, when fish tell other fish that When fish tell other fish that another fish got caught, they don't even believe the shit. Mm-mm. I'm with this nigga Jermaine, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, Look, man, we just chilling. Right. Look, this nigga ate some shit and just like, yeah. <laughs> I ain't seen that nigga since. <laughs> On my mother, nigga, right. I seen it, bro. Right. Bro, I swear to the top to see what the fuck happened, bro. This nigga in the truck with a white man on some help me type shit. <laughs> it's a rock. Help me. <laughs> my nigga was folding up, bro. <laughs> Shouldn't have swam up. I should have swam up. <laughs> What about the nigga who getting caught when they throw him back? He traumatized. He is a two What? He be he, back. Back. he still got the hook in his neck. He be going back and telling him, I told y'all niggas they couldn't catch me. I told y'all niggas they couldn't catch me. I flopped off. No, I flopped off. That's they like hand me on the boat, but I survive. flopped off. That's they like put me on the boat. I started flopped off. I flopped off. That's the fish that be slipping through slow as fuck. My nigga, I flopped off. I told y'all niggas they couldn't catch me. He he put that shit on his mixtape. <laughs> he hit a gangster fish. They call it Lil Hook. Oh, my mama, nigga. Lil Hook. Lil Hook. With this shit. Hook. With this shit. Lil Hook. He killed that with a bullet wound. Niggas tell me I ain't got caught before. Nigga, you bull as shit. Nigga, I see you to the top. I see you to the top. I see you to the top. Fuck Nemo, nigga. Fuck you, tell me. Nigga, you came back three times. Fuck you, tell me. Stay from the top, nigga. nigga. I flopped off. I flopped off. Top, top, from the nigga. top, top, nigga. I flopped off, right off on three white bags. Flopped off on three crap. Hey, that nigga a boy. He, he, hey, he be he talking that shit. They got me on both sides. Yeah. When he and this way came out, I was a year. But see the way my. <laughs> yeah, the other one hit me in my gear. Nigga, for sure, short niggas are so hard. I've been in school the other two times. Hey, hey, nigga tried to get right here. here. Yeah. He came out right here. The, the doctor <laughs> said that she was two inches from my heart. <laughs> If I wouldn't have swam yeah. left, if I wouldn't have used my left side, I would have yeah. I would have drowned. Little hook. Yeah, little hook. My boy, little hook. Boys, oh, man. Hey, be on the lookout for my fish tape, though. Fish tape. <laughs> fish tape. Hey, man. This nigga funny as hell. Hey. My fish tape. Yeah. Fish tape. That's, That's hilarious. Hell of funny. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh, shit. That's hilarious. Fish yeah. tape. Fish tape. <laughs> This yes. nigga said it came in this way. He got me on both sides. Little hook. Little hook. Little hook. Little hook. Little hook. Little hook go crazy. Hey, crazy boy, he a pretty yeah. fish, too. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, shit. That's I'm a good ass little movie. That's a good ass little movie. Talking about finding Nemo? Yeah, finding Nemo. Nigga, find Little Hook. Find Little Hook. Find Little Hook. What's, find little hook. Little hook. What's his first single? Uh, oh, shit. Oh, What's it? Got him hooked. Ooh. <laughs> Strikes and not out. Ooh. So you're a mixtape. I got the hook from up. the deep. I got the hook up. Uh, <laughs> I got the hook up. From the deep end. Yeah, yeah. I did. A, I did a motherfucking yeah. deep end. I did a whole fish tape. No Ooh. hooks. <laughs> no hooks. <laughs> no hooks. All boys. That's what one thing I said. All boys. No no hooks. <laughs> I got enough hooks for everybody. Oh, oh, no niggas no don't know what I swim through. No hooks. Ah. Niggas don't know what I swim through. Niggas don't know what I swim through. Oh, mama. No yeah, it's a lot of niggas in the game, but y'all niggas ain't grow up in the algae, niggas. Uh-huh. Algae projects in the smoke, man. man. Shout out to all my niggas in the reef. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Big ocean uh-huh. type on, shit. Man. You niggas on, is man. in lakes. Fuck you talking about. You a lake fish, man. What's up, nigga? 
<laughs> Great Barrier, nigga. Salt water, nigga. Great Barrier. They trying to drown me, but I survived. You know when I'm out in Cali, I be out there with the Chilean sea bashes and all that. man. <laughs> it's about me and like 50 little Chilean sea bass, bitch. You know, I got a little salmon, bitch, from Hawaii, right? <laughs> I got a salmon, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> The nigga with big shrimp. <laughs> big shrimp. Big shrimp. Oh, you nigga tilapia. No doubt. Oh, man. Come oh, on. Oh, you nigga straight tilapia. Fuck you. I had a few little bitches. You nigga straight tilapia. You hear me? Captain ass fish. Captain ass fish. Oh, my God. This is hard, too, though. God, Hey, you nigga tilapia. Straight tilapia. You nigga. You ain't got no real skills, nigga. Hey, yo, I said, listen. Uh huh. When I see dude, uh huh. I see fool. Oh. <laughs> Catch me on the top of the water uh -huh. in a sea do. Ooh. Talk your shit. I'm in the sea too. Ooh. That's that old shit. Mm. I be chilling underwater. Mm -hmm. That's that cold shit. Cold, cold shit. shit. <laughs> Cause what I see ain't really the letter C. But when we see, you know me. <laughs> Little hook. Little hook. Really mm -hmm. bout that life. Pop your shit. Came in on this side. <laughs> it came, came out of the way. Pull the rest out with a knife. Yeah. Yeah. Yo. Yo. Talk your shit, OG. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I swim through. What the fuck you talking about? Every time in the middle, like the battle rock. <laughs> Slow it down. I said, I said, dropped out of school. Mm -hmm. Did shit by myself. Uh huh. Coral reefs. Yeah. Flipping green. Uh huh. By myself. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Crab. Yeah. SpongeBob. Yeah. Patrick near my neighbors. Yeah. First nigga in the sea. Yeah. With underground. Cable. <laughs> Talk your shit. Talk Big your shit, little shit. Hook. I said, my girl, she thick, got hella ass. Yo. I ain't fucking with a regular fish. What you fucking with? A Chilean sea bass. Yo. Yo. Come on, nigga. Talking about balls, nigga. That don't matter, nigga. Cause my fish pussy is tighter than a red snapper, nigga. <laughs> I said they put me on the bench. Uh huh. Knowing I'm a starter, nigga. Uh huh. I'm a fish that love it on land. Yo. Cause I made it out the water, nigga. Fuck you, man. Made it out the water, nigga. Made it out the water, nigga. Smoking good green. Yo. Had niggas cough. Mm. Y'all talking about going out of space to get pussy. Mm. But what if it's only close to a dog? <laughs> You gotta bring it back. Close to a dolphin? <laughs> nigga, we let it fly. We let the sparks meet. <laughs> nigga, I got a hook in my neck that's bigger than a shark teeth. Hey, Skip we'll those shark round here, nigga. all this shit on the fish tape. No cap. <laughs> no cap. It's all going on the fish, fish tape. I wonder where he live. Fish tape? Fish, fish tape on the way, 2023. <laughs> no, man, come on, man. Do we live? What kind of car you got? A fish tape? Hey, shout out to my nigga Lil Trout. He got, got an album fish coming out. Got on fish oh, man. He got an album coming out, Fish Girl. Fish oh, man. No cap. Oh, he got the other nigga. Fish what that nigga drive? He got fish the other nigga drive? album coming out. <laughs> Wait and see. I'm bubble gummy, they do. I'm bubble hey, gummy, no, they do. Some, <laughs> some real shit, <laughs> though, man. I love what y'all got going on here, bro. Like, this, this South shit really be some unity shit. Yeah, man. And what y'all got going on. Um, me and bro be always talking about it. My nigga Reason over there, we be always Shout talking about it. Shout out to Reason. It. We be talking about the shit all the time on the West, just about us getting together and coming together as a conglomerate. So to see y'all doing some shit together, bro, that shit is lovely. Yeah, man. Thank yeah, you. We appreciate that. Nigga DC eating his food like it's going somewhere tomorrow. It is. In the toilet. <laughs> he got a lot going on. Man. No cap. He got a lot going on. That nigga a legend. Man, I got three kids. Look what you see. got coming up, man. Shit. Oh, shit. Bit of everything. Yeah, Talk to him, Luke. Talk yeah, to him. Yeah, man. They, they can catch us in the theaters fly. What you talking about? Yeah, talking okay. about yeah. house party movie. Yeah, stand me. Yeah. 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 Ye
know what I'm saying? Let's talk yeah. about it. Man, let's talk about the house party. Yeah, man. Great right yeah. fans, man. Hey, right, man, we see you on a hell of a press run, man. Don't do me them all the good shit, man. Tell me some of your childhood stories. So, DC, man. Tell Broke us about the family out. I mean, yeah, you know what I mean? You got, you got know, them got, getting got them got all the these heartfelt ass moments and shit. Got, got we got the show, too. On, on Jet Magazine. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. Broke the family out. Come on. Jet magazine, you know. Now I, see, that's good on legendary type. Yeah, shit. man. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Jet magazine, shit was on, man, every yeah. dentist, yeah. everywhere, every barbershop, every no doctor, cap, everywhere. Yeah. Man, give me one and sign that bitch. I am. Oh, I, told, I told you, send me about five C cap. I need I one. Need, of them, I need mine. I need, I need mine. one of every room. And New Face need one for the archive. No too. cow. Got to put it in the museum. It ain't happening, New Face. Son. He was there when you said no this. No cow. But, but, no, you, but you know the house party was lit, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Cal Matt, the uh, Shout director. Shout out Cal Matt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure. We did our thing, man. You feel me? And we just took, I know everybody was trying to like say don't touch a classic and all that, but we knew that this movie was monumental back in the day. Add to and the volume of it. It added yeah. to it, but it was like, we had to understand what House Party was first before we touch, touch on it. It was monumental to, to back then, to our culture back then, because it was, a, it was a bridge of a gap of cinematography and hip hop. Let me ask you this. For all the, all the, out of all the House Parties before this one, what's right. some of your favorite scenes from the House Party movies? I mean, the, really the, the, the first one. The one that I wasn't even born. I wasn't born when the first one came out, or the second one. Right. Cause I know you watched all of them. I watched all of them. Yeah. Cause you know, after the third one, it's like it's like four more in the. That's know. the one with immature in it. Niggas yeah. don't even know they gave house party to the white folk. They get shaky. Yeah. They get shaky. Y'all don't even know that. Know that. The white nigga don't want to the house party. Like we were like, yeah. what the fuck? <coughs> I gentrified this, the this house. This one brought the culture back. I bought the house. This, this no, one more no more parties. No more parties. <laughs> mama. Rest in peace, Teddy Ray, man. Rest in peace, Teddy, Teddy, Teddy Ray. 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 A segment called Nigga. Nigga. Do you need that? <laughs> <laughs> this, no, this we start a... with the man part. <coughs> Nigga, can we start with the bad part? Hey, that? you know what though? You know what? They, they, they be robbing with them little bags. They be having a little bag, right? And they get in the car like they going and then they reach in there like they got through, and then they pull out that little, that the little hammer, pink right? two two. Niggas got burners. Yeah, they, they pull out that burn. little, uh, they pull out that little gun, Andre three thousand head on the cover of Love Below. If you tell a nigga to pull out a pink man pistol. purse, it's gonna be nothing but burners <laughs> and backwood guts. And empty lean bottles, nigga. It's gonna be a bunch of bullshit coming right. out of his man purse. Nigga, nigga, Soldier Boy had a. Do you need a purple gun? Yeah. Indeed. A she purple was, gun. It was like purple or pink. It was adorable. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Nigga. <laughs> Do you need that? <laughs> nigga, DC said that motherfucker shoots Skittles. <laughs> I remember that. That shit was hilarious. I have a theory. Whatever type of nigga you are today, that's the kind of slave your ancestor was back then. So think about yourself. Think about the choices you made in life. Your ancestors made them same type of choices. If you was a lying ass nigga, <laughs> if you got baby mama drama today, nigga, it was a nigga on the plantation with like eight baby mamas, couldn't figure it out. All the kids look like him, nigga. All of them. I'd have been lazy. <laughs> I'd have been the nigga that found all the work by Shay. <laughs> no, I'ma just handle all of this. I'ma I'm just re it. I'ma grow some shit. But it's gonna be in the shade. Woke up this morning. Yeah. Twist me a bunt. Made me some brunch. Cause I woke up proud around one. Mm. That is party for a nigga like me. I wake up. Right. What's up with Trump? What's up with Michelle? What's up with Barack? White bitch go to hell. Yeah. Yeah. Asking me about my people. Yeah. I don't care that you are illegal. Yeah. Just talking about you, white, but I know your ass is Irish on the low. You about to get deported. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Wayne. Monet. Yeah, yeah, man. I be watching his show, man. Yeah, yeah. Come that's on, the, man. that's the best way to remember that nigga, bro. Oh, my mama. Because that's him in his rawest form. It's so crazy because it be like the good niggas always go first. Yeah. No, and Teddy was like a good nigga. Yeah. Like a real good nigga. I felt like his He was future, just about to get that yeah, success his that he been working was right so hard for. Yeah, in front of his face. Yeah. It was right there. And it, it, it's just crazy because it's like how certain shit happened for certain people. But Teddy Ray, a legend, man. I met yeah, Teddy sure. through Lou. Um, and we you know we did a we did a bunch of podcasts together and yeah. a bunch of shows and a bunch of different things, but like Teddy was like a real good dude, bro. He yeah, was great, a real great good spirit. Man. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a real somebody. young OG. Yeah, yeah for that's real. Man. Last should, of the dying breed, man. That's somebody that should never be forgotten because yeah. it's like he he was a real genuine person to the comedy culture. So yeah. it's like any given time when y'all hear the name Teddy Ray, make some noise. Yeah, yeah, Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Mama. You be Tell happy to see back. him in L.A., bro. Yeah, Whenever man. he had some shit that I could come through and he always show love and he gonna point you in the right direction I and did tell you how to move all the out fucking, there. Um, horoscope signs <clears throat> on the wall. When he was host, he was hosting some spot. It was like in the hood. Yeah, with the old, the old club. Yeah, the uh, family room, I believe. Some shit like that. Like, yeah, that's yeah. where they had all the RVs parked out there. Yeah. Mm, I don't he know. He was like, yeah, they selling <laughs> pussy out there. I said, what? Out the RV? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Niggas ain't camping. Ain't nobody yeah. camping. I said, yeah. damn. That nigga lived a hell of a life, man, and everybody fucked with him. Hell yeah, for you sure. Know, respect of his people. So that, that was good that he was in the film, you know what I'm saying? It was a lot of people that was in the film that, you know, deserve. They did uh, their thing, too. Yeah, put they some light did. on them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, we we had a couple of the OG producers that was on it. You dig what I'm saying? And Kyle, he did his thing. You dig what I'm saying? He he he, he definitely directed the hell out of that movie. And hey man, congratulations for thing. just being you know one of the ones that get to carry the torch. Yeah. To keep that shit going, bro. Oh, man. Yeah. That's what I'm saying with the black center <coughs> and shit like that, man. <laughs> Nigga, I hope they make 12 more. They already let's, talking about a sequel already. Let's get us some shit that, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that can be, be our Star Wars where we can make that motherfucker 20, 30, 40, that, 50 times. It's like us as black shit, people bro. ain't gonna never give up on it. Like, we need that shit. That, this little, that'd be, that'd be the the really fish movie got some potential. But nah, the really shit. The, really the fish shit movie, little shit, nigga. Like, really we need a black Star Wars, though. The really shit about what Lo saying, though, is like, we yeah, as, we as a culture, people. like, we be so, damn, who got the shit playing? <laughs> That's a ringtone. Right. What's, what's um, got going on, baby? And they answered that on the Bluetooth, <laughs> nigga. The realest, the, realest, <laughs> the realest shit about us as a culture, it be like we be so quick to like bash some shit, right? Or like turn something it's down. Come together. When it's like it's really a it's really a platform for our next up and coming. Yeah. So if house party worked in the last generation, why can't it work for this generation? Because right. there's too many you know opinionated saying? people that saying, don't touch that and don't do that. Then it'd be like, okay, well, what's the solution for these group of actors that want to make a movie. They like, well, just make another one. Would you support it? Nope. I don't know. Exactly. But it's it, like, it, listen, yeah. this is culture. Exactly. Yeah, right. We got to go to the old head to, to, to even, now, not only that, we got to go to the old head to be like, Listen, how can we tell the history to the new, to the young generation? Exactly. And ain't exactly. nobody telling how hard it is to get shit nothing. made. You it's hard saying? to get shit made. Hell yeah. They be like, yeah. Yeah. why don't y'all make something new? Anyway. Okay, you give them something <laughs> new. Well, we can't do nothing with this because ain't nobody going for it. So it's almost like if it don't have it, it's all they doing in Hollywood is making remakes, right? right? Right. That's that's across the board. Everything. It's the so, same thing in the music industry. Fact. But right. That's what I said. That's what I told him. We making songs said, that already work. I said Come we, on, we took a sample from the original yeah. and just recreated our own new songs. Right. Right. So it's like instead of us looking at this as like, oh they took this or they did like how about we look at this as nah these platforms that was created for our future people to shine. Right. You know what I'm saying? Our culture so got way more Hall of Famers than any other culture. Yeah. Anyway, we just pick and choose to say when they're a Hall of Famer. Right. Exactly. One hit wonder. Nigga, if he made you move for four years straight, right. yeah. that motherfucker is in the Hall of Fame for the rest right. of his life. Cause yeah. you know what? He made it was an energy that shifted the culture. But check this out. So we the only culture jam, that though. throw away our one hit only, wonders though. Only the most. We the only culture that the throw away ones. our one hit wonders. No, we got. No. That's what I'm saying. We're everybody, still playing, though. everybody's in fucking important. What if they put everything they had into that one goddamn hit? This song gonna live forever.
the commercial. Play with these niggas, man. That's what we said. You want to know what we said on the rest of this video? Go to that. Just in case you're wondering what we're doing, we are now showing you just how important having the 85 South Show app is because you was watching this show thinking, oh, they done finally put the shit back on YouTube. No. They was listening. We weren't. We weren't. It's on the app. It's on the app. The rest of this, listen, the rest of the audio is on the app. <laughs> 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 All right, now you gotta know what we said, you gotta go get the app. That's the 85 South Show app. It's available on Amazon, Five Stick, Apple TV, wherever you get your subscription. No, it's not. It's, it's just, not on Apple it's TV? just available directly where they sell apps. Or oh, they don't sell apps on Apple TV? It's where well, y'all should fuck with us too, Apple TV. Roku. Here, what's with y'all? It fuck is Roku. on there. Put it on Roku. Don't say fuck nobody. No, I didn't say fuck nobody. I said put it. I think we fuck with them. Oh, we do. My house full of Rokus. Oh. The Roku remote everywhere. Yeah. So subscribe to the app. It's only $8.99 a month or $85 a year. So you get a whole year for $85. Did you yeah. know that? It's $8.50 and then you got to pay tax. Yeah, so, you know, it's but eight. You know, we get them all type of content. You know what? We not even going to tell them who you got your glasses from until they get it on the app. I mean, hey, you got to watch the app. The app is available. All of these people that say we should keep putting this on YouTube for free. What about the years of freeness that we've already provided upon you? We gave this away for Let's free for years. Let's move together. Why would you let somebody come invest in the show and put it on another network and you're buying their subscription? You don't ask them why you're buying their shit. So don't ask us. We're putting it on the app. Who's over the app? Nobody knows. Get the app. Yeah. We saw what you said in the comments. We, sure we saw it. We saw everybody. The good, the we bad. Read every fucking comment. And the ugly. So you know what? We folding under this pressure. Sure we hear you. We heard you. We hear you. We went and did. We'll just get the fuck on at y'all way. Yep. Just for an hour though. Yep. That's yep. all you get is an hour. So don't you can't complain. Well, where the rest of it? I think they should get 37 minutes. Oh, see, we gotta hurry and we up. We just put a whole bunch of ads in between, like long ass ads, like five minute ads. Hey, how you doing? Uh, you <laughs> slow motion ads. Slow, slow it down. <laughs> Waste a motherfucking time. Yeah. Uh, let's just uh go ahead and make sure channel85.com. I want to make sure I read what they wrote. They wrote some shit out for us. These niggas don't know how to spell or type proper sentences, but they trying get to get us to get y'all to buy the app. What, you think we want to read this shit? Channel 85, man. So we can talk that shit, man. Ladies, don't you like this deep thrust, huh? Go get it on the app. That's right. On the app. Uncensored, unfiltered, and edited. Can you believe that? I'm talking about with actual production in it. Jump cuts, clips. All types of type of like exclusive shit that they don't even know that we did. They don't even know that we got a show where we be cooking like exotic foods and shit. Okay. That's on the we app. Got sports shows. Yep. Talk show, documentary. Chico got a handwriting class that he Real teach. <laughs> Nobody passed it. Cause Nobody. that's why the shit look like right. this. But we're working on it, and you can see it on the app. They didn't, the e app. didn't even tell them about the tax course that we had uploaded on there. No cap. They don't even know that we, we got we a whole show about Wall Street. And a $5,000 on the app. Right. <laughs> and we got the alternate ending to the color purple up there. Oh, right. man. No cap. We got the raw edition, all the uncut, all the bloopers. We got all that. Right. It's on the app. So if you want to see some shit that, you know, they trying to hide from you, Go to that. I'm leaving though. Channel85.com. Go get the app. You got an hour for free. We gave you what you wanted. Now give us some subscriptions to the app. $8.50, $8.99 with tax, $85 a year. Channel85.com, 85 South Show. Get the app. Well, see, this is what they don't know. The app really $3, but adjusted for inflation is $8.99. Yeah. What Low said. Get the app, man. Stop bullshitting. We out of here, man. We're not about to keep working all this time for. We are going on out, baby. We are going on out. We on your way to fly. On air.